All right, next topic, saturation and concentration. Ready? Let's go. So remember, solutions are homogeneous. We have a solute dissolved in a solvent to make a solution. The solute can be a solid or a liquid or a gas. And most of the time we're talking about a liquid solvent. But not every solution is the same. So what is concentration? Concentration is the amount of a substance that's dissolved in a liquid. If it's a little bit, we call it dilute. If it's a lot, we call it concentration. So dilute, just a small amount that's dissolved. Concentrated, a lot is dissolved. So how do we measure concentration? Three main ways, with molarity, with parts per million, and with percent mass. Molarity is capital M, and it stands for moles per liter. So you will see this right here. This means molarity. So if I have one, and this is molar, like we would say it like this, one molar. Okay, so I have, if I have a one molar NaCl uh, solution, that will mean I have one molar of Na plus and one molar of Cl negative. Whereas if I have one molar of CaCl2, I have one molar of CaC of just Ca, but two molar of Cl2. All right, here's a couple little jokes just because it is literally hysterical. Look, I just said a four or five molar solution. So look at this, a five molar solution. <laughs> All right, one mole per liter, but about four moles per liter. Okay. All right, so where do I find the concentration units? Bam, right there, okay. Remember how to increase concentration, you add more solute or use less solvent, right? So we can make it more concentrated with more solute or less solvent. But in chemistry, we get a little bit more specific. We don't just say dilute and concentrate. We use a bigger word. We use saturation. Saturation depends on temperature, okay? Um, also the substance. So we have saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated solutions. In an unsaturated solution, that means more can dissolve at that temperature. So if I took salt, poured it into water, and stirred it up, and I put some more salt in and stirred it up and it dissolved, that would mean my original solution was unsaturated because more could dissolve. If on the other hand, a solution is saturated, that means no more can dissolve at that temperature. So I put, um, I have my salt water, I put more salt in, I stir it up, I stir it up, I stir it up, I stir it up, but it, it, I see salt at the bottom, meaning it can't dissolve. Um, even though I have given it plenty of time to dissolve and I've stirred it to try to increase that um, dissolving rate, uh, that means it is saturated, okay? Because it is no longer dissolving, it's staying at the bottom. Now, what does supersaturated mean? Supersaturated means too much is dissolved at that temperature. We're gonna talk about later, how the heck can you make it? Like, how can you make too much be dissolved? So we'll talk about it. Hint, it involves heat. All right, so a saturated solution means at equilibrium, some of the solute is going to settle at the bottom if I try to add more, okay? Unsaturated, I can add more, it dissolves. Saturated, I add more, no longer dissolves. Saturated solutions are the only ones that can reach equilibrium. So if I have 30 grams of NaCl and 100 uh, milliliters or grams of water, that would be unsaturated because when I added 10 more grams, uh, a lot of it dissolved, okay? Now I'm left with four grams, uh, so that means maximum it held was 36 because that four grams at the bottom didn't dissolve. So unsaturated, I can still add more and it'll dissolve. Saturated, if I add more, it's no longer going to dissolve. Once I see some of the solute settled at the bottom, I will know I have reached a saturated solution. 
So which property of an unsaturated solution of sodium chloride in water remains the same when more water is added? So I have sodium chloride, I have water, I've added it. What stays the same if I add more water? Well, the amount of sodium chloride, right? A student adds solid KCl to water in a flask. The flask is sealed with a stopper and is thoroughly shaken until no more solid KCl dissolves. Some solid KCl is still visible in the flask. So the solution has to be what? Well, if all of it dissolves, then I know it's not unsaturated, correct? Okay, so to remember what's true about saturated, yeah. Saturated is at equilibrium. What is true for saturated? Okay, so saturated solution is at equilibrium, which means the rate of dissolving equals the rate of recrystallizing. Now, if I have some solid solute hanging out undissolved, technically um, it would be heterogeneous. Okay, if I just left big clumps at the bottom, Okay, that would be considered heterogeneous. So if I allow um, a supersaturated solution to cool down and some of it settles out, uh, it would be considered heterogeneous. Only, uh, this usually isn't tested, but I've seen it pop up in a couple questions. So I wanna throw that out there. So how do we make supersaturated? I give you a hint that it involves heating. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a solution that's saturated and heat it up and add more solute. Now, because I'm heating it, more solute is going to dissolve. So I took that saturated solution, I added extra solute, I heated it up, I made a supersaturated solution because I start to cool that supersaturated solution, but I have to cool it slowly because it's ridiculously unstable. Imagine I'm like balanced with like 50 tennis balls. Uh, so unstable. One tiny little bump, it's all gonna fall, okay? So what it means to be unstable is that as soon as that solution is like bumped, for example, or um, something is called uh, like a seed crystal. So if I drop one little piece of salt in there, all of that extra solute just goes and comes out, okay? Um, is how rock candy is made. So I make a super saturated solution of sugar water, usually add food coloring, and then I put a couple of seed crystals onto a stick, and then I put the stick in when it's warm, because if I wait until it's cooled down, then it's already gonna start to settle out. Um, and then I just give it some time. That excess sugar will come out and will form crystals. Like this. They're beautiful rock candy crystals. And there you have it. That is saturation and concentration.